All right, guys, welcome. We are on fractured space, and this is just so different to what I am used to. I have just bought myself a healing drone or a healing ship. Would you say? I'd say a ship. It's pretty big, I'll say ship. Um, her only purpose is to heal. Um, not entirely sure how to play this one yet. So we will come back around to that if you guys uh, want to see more. But the one that I do use is the art. Is the Aegis. Is it Aegis? It sounds better in Aegis instead of Argus. But Aegis. Um, this thing is deadly powerful. But the only difference is that she can't really... Uh, like have missile systems or anything like that. That kind of sucks. But uh, the first one is absurd smart gun. Literally, when you send missiles, they lock on. You can send them around corners when you're set behind a uh, cover or something like that. Um, they sap the power of your enemy and feed it back to you. This one's a shield that you can put on your allies. You literally beam comes out, shields your allies as you aim at them, and uh, any damage that the shields take will get siphoned back to you. Next one is a shield for yourself. Pretty much the same effect. I'm gonna skip this one. Uh, blink. That's pretty much you hold down the uh, 3 key. Unless you change it. Uh, but I hold down the 3 key for a couple of seconds. It puts out a buoy. Uh, and then you literally blink to it. like uh, Kind of like uh, a mini jump. Engine's not that great. Okay. This one is the particle accelerator. This is the most fun part about her. When you have enough energy, they siphoned all this stuff. Um, this thing comes online. Now, her activation cost is 7,500, which is a lot of energy. You gotta do your work. Um, so, you gotta put your work in to get what you want out of it. Now, this thing, it just accelerates across the screen. It starts small, widens out, it's a huge circle, uh, ignores all cover, and pretty much cripples anybody who stays in it. Huge amounts of damage if you don't move. So, i definitely get out of the way of that. <laughs> We're gonna go into battle with the Aegis. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, I did technically cheat, maybe. I did spend, like, uh, premium to get onto, uh, sorry, platinum, to get onto the Aegis. Because I couldn't handle the, like, uh, mini, like, cruisers that they gave me. So, I guess that's just what I had to do to get what I'm after. That's what I've just bought. Conquest mode. So, we'll go for the Aegis. We will ready up. We'll tell teammates, because not many know. See if we've got the enemy. Yes. Oh, she's. Oh, oh, I forgot the S. Got that. So I'll just put that in for them so that they're aware. Uh, Let's get in. Okay, so press any key. Okay, the first part is uh, at the top, it'll say this match is about to begin. A lot of people mess about at this part because the game isn't actually real. You can jump to like different sectors, move around, so on and so forth. But as soon as the game starts, uh, it's just reset to where you originally were. So. <laughs> 
So those were the shields that you saw online then. I'm gonna jump to beta. I'm gonna hold off a little bit because I want that guy in front of me. Now, it's not that I'm being selfish or anything like that. It's the fact. Oh, wait. It's the fact that I need my uh, shields to come online. Yep, there's the Raven. She's just siphoned my power. I can't really do much right now. That kind of sucks. But yeah. Um, the Raven siphons power for me, so she's pretty deadly to me. But others, she cannot be. Is that a problem? this distance, I'm not going to do anything, because it actually kicks out pretty far before we're starting up. Let's just raise up here and get this guy. She'll keep constantly saying, Jesus, I've been... Oh. She'll keep saying that um, I'll, I'll need a refit and stuff like that. It means that you've got an upgrade, because it works kind of like uh, League of Legends. If you've ever played that game, you level up in the game rather than just be like overpowered and everything like that, which is, I, I find it a lot better. Damn it! There's the. God damn. Okay, let's, let's pull, push out the accelerator. Let's back up a little bit. There it goes. Beautiful. Get us on station immediately. And if he's not moving, he's gonna take damage. Yep, there it is. Let's get you shielded. We should be pulling out at this point, but it's, it doesn't look like it's happening. Now I'm in trouble. Oh! Damn. Yeah, they're shockwaves. I've got to turn way God. Oh. Well. Yeah, got killed. Sentinel. Sentinel's pretty powerful. I have one in my armor. Uh, hey, hello. Um, we shall pick. Ow. Or increases your energy, because, uh, these ears. Oh! The Aegis uses a lot of power and gains energy pretty slowly. I don't think I really need power, because I'm going to have siphon and then. Keep them from going to certain places. So. Okay, so we're gonna get on to Gamma. We're gonna go in behind that guy. They're gonna completely attack that guy. It's nearly ready, boys. There it is. That shit up. Boom. There it is. Get a shield on that guy. Now he's gonna kill him with the explosion, I imagine. No? Quite surprising. Sweet. 
Now, if you see rockets coming in and stuff like that, you can uh, use the ability, which is, I think is your 4 key. I've changed it to my, one of my mouses, um, but it's the 4 key. And that, uh, it like shoots down missiles, but you can use it as well as an offensive if you get close enough, because it's quite a short range. Nope. Our engines are no longer operating at maximum efficiency. Oh, I don't think I want that in my face. Good sir. Oh, damn, I missed. It's a very exciting game in all honesty. It's very addictive, in my opinion. Um, this game is. makes you use your brain quite a bit. I mean, obviously, you can't, you can't just run in and, uh, the enemy is a fleet ship. and just die instantly, because on this game, they'll gain rank from killing you. Pretty much like League of Legends, or, uh, Heroes of the Storm, if you've ever played that. Damn! Oh my god. The captain is so aggressive. Linger them around the corner. He is very powerful, and that Leviathan is very. Yeah. The Leviathan has a front forward cannon. There's literally a laser. Better be. Good God. We're going to activate the shields as soon as they come online, and then we're going to activate the pulse... Pulse accelerator? That's it. We have to head for there it is. That should kill them. Yep, there it is. to that guy because that green beam that you saw, that was the healing beam. That guy ran away, I think. corner so that he can't get me first. Uh, and then press six. Now, you do take more damage when you're jumping, so you gotta keep that in mind. Like, take cover, or uh, like I used to do, use shields. Okay, so. Uh, more energy, or... No, we'll go for more damage this time. I'm gonna jump to alpha because... Uh, they're on our base. And that is not good. Do we have a Leviathan? No. Gamma online in 60 seconds. Alright, we're gonna jump to Gamma. Now, when you jump, turn to the area that you want to be facing when you get there, because on this, uh, if you, you can be literally turned away from that area and jump, and you will end up going backwards. Holy shit. Alright, Leviathan is very powerful, I need to take her out. So we're going to send the Pulse Accelerator to mess them up. Can you 
he's struggling to get out now. There he goes. There's a raven that's gonna do me in. Shit. I think I'm out here, guys. I think I am out. Wait, someone just jumped in. They might be able to heal me. Oh my god. Oh my god, the raven is so annoying. No! No! Damn it! The raven is so annoying. She just siphons my ability. It like completely paralyzes you from using your shields or anything like that in the Aegis. 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 Watch this guy, shall we? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not totally sure why they, the enemy decides to sit on you in this game. But <laughs> I don't know. I, maybe it's maybe it's a good tactic. I I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just they seem to sit on you or under you, push you up or down. Upgrade received. I'm really sure why. I think they've got that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to. I think they have. Yeah, they have. That'd have been a waste to jump, but I got into camera there. Jump complete. No. System show no problems. Me out. Hello. Welcome, Colossus. See, if you use your shields, or maybe use them a little too early, uh, but if you use your shields on the Aegis to uh, reduce the incoming damage so that you can jet out, it's pretty good. It's a nice, effective way of doing it. Time for some payback. So we're going to jump back to beta, help our guys out. We should be able to get their, their large base on their side. Once you do that, you can jump to their main base. Or if you capture Gamma in time, I think you can jump straight from Gamma to their base as well. Uh, someone said Gamma, when you have it controlled, you can... Uh, I, said, I think they said that it captures the base faster. Which is pretty cool. I do not. I do not want to be caught in that. Yep, there it is. Nope, I don't want fighters on me. That must be in the ravens here. I'm not taking that neither.
Alright, no, we've got backup now, so I can, I can turn this around. Where, where is he? Oh, he's jetting out. Wait, where did he go? Oh my god, you jump out. He just jumped out. Good sir. But 50 seconds before that comes online. I don't know why people jump that fast, but never mind. It's good. I'm probably going to take this base first, and then we're going to help our guy out. Because there's quite a few of our guys on Gavin now. And of course, my upgrade comes down. Thirty seconds. Command confirms. We're a ship down. Gamma online in twenty seconds. Maria secured. All right. Gamma Here we go. Ten seconds. Gamma three active. accelerator to move them or they will suffer major damage. Maybe they'll move? I guess not. That's surprising. has definitely walked into a sticky situation here. Yeah, he's not getting out of that one. You can't just jump mid-flight. Oh! Yeah, you can't just jump like that. Not when you're under that much fun. Alright, now we're at the base. We have to target the turret generators because that gives them help. I'm gonna lower it down here. And use. No, oh, never mind, we didn't even have to. <laughs> Beautiful. And that is fractured space. Now, obviously, different classes give you different abilities, and you get to play in different styles. Healers obviously have to keep back and, uh, they can neutralize enemies because they have different abilities. Uh, they can take weapons offline, missile systems offline. You can you have siphon drones that weaken the enemy and give you health, which is amazing. Um, but just in general, it is amazing. Uh, we have a Reaper, which is pretty much forward firing, uh, cuts a laser across the sky to do damage to their uh, armor. Because you have to get through the army before you can get through the shields. Uh, but once, so if you're taking damage on one side, like say the right side, and that breaks off, probably your best bet would probably be to uh, turn the left side to them until at least you can get out or uh, help can come. So that's pretty cool. You can boost your credits after the match, so you don't have to. Like on World of Tanks or something like that. You don't have to like use it before, and then maybe you get a bad battle. Then you can do it like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, in that one, we got 19. That's pretty good. I think that is the kills. I think. I'm not entirely sure. I not really say. Oh, takedowns. Yeah, 19 takedowns was that one. Two deaths. Support points. No, I don't. Captures three. I'm just, I'm surprised I didn't get any support points to be honest. Uh, I have the shield, so I'm. But I guess it's not a healing. Maybe it doesn't count. Okay. 
Um, but yeah, that is that is pretty much uh, fractured space. Uh, like World of Tanks, as I said before, you can get different crew. Each one's uh, got a special ability to themselves. You can see it down here, where it says uh, maneuvering plus nine, turning rate plus nine, uh, attack damage plus two, capture rate plus twelve point five. Damage reduction by, by five. Uh, I like this guy because he gives me uh, the fire rate of plus four and the torch verse of twelve point five, which is pretty good in my opinion. Then these things that you can see, which I'm uh, carrying around now, are pretty much like boosters, like implants that give them uh, abilities. So that one's capture five percent, uh, two hundred hull strength, which is awesome. Uh, 0 0.80 percent fire rate which is also good but yeah I mean it's it's just all around I, I think this game is a really good game um, I'm surprised there's not more people playing this uh, but then again I, I've, I found it out of pure luck on Steam uh, you can download this on Steam I will leave a description in the part below but if you go on Steam I'm just typing fractured space. You can find it anyway. But yeah, I mean, each uh, character can do different things for each person. Squad cooldown, which is pretty much like fighters. And then your squad survivability is also. I'm going to use her probably for the Raven when I get her. Uh, there's other captains. I think captains are blue. Uh, there's her, which is capture rate 18 points, but she only has an attack damage of plus two. I'd prefer more attack damage because I'm a heavy. Uh, with Aegis, you're pretty heavy. You can't just go in and expect to win dead on. That one's for my Leviathan. Uh, I don't think really much is ranged apart from this guy here. I do prefer that. Uh, I might actually. Sw yeah, I'm gonna swap that out for that actually. It's gonna be great. I'll put sensor rating up and uh, hull strength by 200 and then a missile range. Wait, we don't have missiles, do we? We don't have missiles, we don't need that. Is that missile range? I don't need that. What am I doing? Uh, but the yeah, attack rate is kind of so that's pretty cool. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.